Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. As you might know, scientists finally captured first image of a black hole on 10th April 2019, just 11 days ago. Black hole picture captured for the first time in space. Astronomers have captured the first image of a black hole, heralding a revolution in our understanding of the universe's most enigmatic objects. The picture shows a halo of dust and gas tracing the outline of a colossal black hole at the heart of the Messier 87 galaxy, 55 million light years from Earth. The black hole itself, a cosmic trapdoor from which neither light nor matter can escape, is unseeable, but the latest observations take astronomers right to its threshold for the very first time, illuminating the event horizon beyond which all known physical laws collapse. The breakthrough image was captured by EHT Event Horizon Telescope, a network of eight radio telescopes spanning locations from Antarctica to Spain and Chile, in an effort involving more than 200 scientists. Shepard Dolman, EST Director and Harvard University Senior Research Fellow said, Black holes are the most mysterious objects in the universe. We have seen what we thought was unseeable. We have taken a picture of a black hole. Brothers and sisters, what if we'll tell you that black holes were discussed in a book 1400 years ago? And you already know which book we are talking about, none other than Holy Quran. Subhanallah. Quran discussed black hole 1400 years ago. Black holes are region of space with a gravitational field so intense that no matter radiation or even light can escape it have been center of discussion and research for astrophysicists. The idea was discussed for the first time in 1784 by English clergyman John Michael has fascinated both scientists and common people for decades and it has gotten more interesting as Quran discussed the idea of the black hole 1400 years ago. Up until 2011, astrophysicists were not able to confidently report about the phenomenon of stars falling in the black hole, but now they can and it has been reported three stars have fallen into the black holes until 2016. In the Quran, interestingly, there is a whole chapter called Surah An-Najm, the star, and its first verse states, by the star when it falls. In this chapter, Quran goes on to describe characteristics of a place so similar what we now know as a fitting description of the black hole. It is well known that stars change their nature as they age till they die. Among the endpoints of stars is the black hole. The Holy Quran refers to this fact that is the death of stars because of the exhaustion of its fuel. In the Quran, when the stars are extinguished. As we all know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi a special trip to the heavens. This trip was miraculous because there was no technological way Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi could have taken such a journey 1400 years ago. Seeing as how planes hadn't even been invented, neither the rocket ships, but if you study this miraculous night journey closely, you will find that there are many clues to prove that this incredible journey did indeed occur. Because the description of the area the Prophet Muhammad ascended to match the characteristics of what we now know about the black hole. In the Quran, when there covered the low tree that which covered it. In the verse 16 of chapter 53, Quran describes this place in space as very dark. In fact, it describes it as darkness covered or draped in darkness. And as we all know, space is dark and black holes are darkest. But nothing is darker than a black hole because black holes have such immense forces of a gravity, nothing, not even light, can escape from them. Quran says that ordinary people cannot look at this dark area in space. They cannot see it directly as their eyes bypass or surpass the boundary of this area and you can only see beyond or around it. It's almost this area behave as a lens. Science as it turns out has a term for this which is the gravitational lens. Near a black hole the powerful force of gravity bends and wraps rays of light around it creating a visual imprint on the surrounding material. 
astrophysicists have proved that black hole bends light to act like a cosmic magnifying glass, giving astronomers a view of an even more distant galaxy behind it. And this what we call gravitational lens. In the Quran, the sight of the Prophet did not swore nor did it transgress its limit. And following verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he certainly saw some of the greatest signs of his load. This verse could be alluding to the fact that Prophet Muhammad visited the black hole and looked it directly. The Quran describes this area's shape wide at the top with a sloping side and a narrow tube at the bottom, almost a funnel shaped in the Quran at the low tree of the Atmos boundary. Low tree also means Jujubi tree. By the Jujubi tree, it is linked to the shape by a Jujubi tree which fits the same description as the one we just mentioned. A black hole makes such a deep dent and that is why it appears to look like a funnel. Researchers such as George Pullin, Rodolfo Gambini and Gerard Hoof have recently been able to prove that energy can escape black holes and black holes are finite. This means that black holes don't end in an infinite density but rather act as a portal to another universe. The British physicist Stephen Hawking supports this claim and further suggested that there could be a way out of the black hole when he said, If you feel you are in black hole, don't give up, there's a way out, it might have a passage to another universe but you couldn't come back to our universe. In the following verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, near which is the garden of abode. At the low tree of the Atmos boundary, near which is the garden of abode. Subhanallah. Quran describes this mysterious area maths what we now call the black hole. However, the Quran takes one step further by asserting that it is in fact a portal to heaven, a claim which science has yet to prove. Now let's talk about pulses. Pulsars are rotating neutron stars. Most of the neutron stars discovered today are in the form of radio pulses. They are called radio pulsars because they emit radio waves. We can simply connect a radio telescope to a loudspeaker and hear a pulsar. Pulsars sound like someone persistently knocking. So in short, we can hear a pulsar knock. The Quran describes a star by the one who knocks. Subhanallah. In the Quran, and the heaven and the knocker, how could you know about the knocker, the piercing star? The Arabic word fukub means a hole. Saqib means the one who makes the hole. The Quran is describing a knocking star that makes a hole. Pulsars are rotating neutron stars. As more matter falls into a neutron star, its mass increases and as its mass increases, its gravity increases. But gravity is actually curvature of space-time and neutron star distorts space-time. As more matter falls into a neutron star, its distortion increases. A point will be reached where distortion would have grown so much that it makes a hole in space-time. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known about black holes? So that's it for today guys. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and share this video to your friends and family. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.